Look at that trash. Lots of cans. With this, I'm gonna be able to make like a chimney and maybe a stove. In survival situations, I improvise a lot. One done, lots to go. I wait to see what the land has to offer and I try to adapt. I basically just go with the flow and go with my intuition. That gets the job done. This is where the wood will be burning. This is the oxygen intake. And this is the connector for the chimney. So here's the assemble. <laughs> Looks pretty funny. <laughs> All right. I need to fireproof my stove pipe. I brought these gators, and the bottom part is a fire resistant material. So I'm gonna sew them together so that I can surround my chimney. To me, when you have good boots, you don't need gators. So that's an item that I could sacrifice. As my needle, what I'm gonna use is a piece of wire, and I'm going to bend it like that. For thread, I'm going to use paracord. I love stoves. To me, they're so interesting, how they're designed and the way they work. So I'm so excited to get this working in my shelter. OK, I finished sewing. And the stove pipe goes in. Looks good from here. Now I'm going to surround the whole skeleton with clay. It's gonna provide some thermal mass and it's gonna seal all the holes. Most of my life, I have not cared about money. Water, shelter, food, those are my priorities. If I have that, I'm okay. But reality is that for me to marry and to start a family, I feel that I need financial stability. So. It would be nice to win and have that security. So let's see what I did today. I've set up the foundation around the stove. I also did the door. And that's the inside. This is my base for my pot. Not bad, eh? 